else should we go to? Object. Um, this is just... Okay, edge lists. Um, I won't go into that at the moment, actually. Um, just have a play, really. Um, I th no, I won't touch that. Okay. Um, update mat. Update mat will update materials attached to it. Um, and export scene. Uh, when you're finished with it, uh, you can just export a scene um, as an OSM file. OSM is native to Ogre. Um, so, so you want to say scene1.osm. Um, just save it in my documents, perhaps. Um, you'll get this window here. Now, don't get too daunted. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward. Everything's pretty much done for you already. Um, one thing I would like to note is uh, copy textures. It's a really powerful, um, really handy thing to do. Uh, if you've got textures everywhere, it'll just copy it into a specified directory. So say I want a, a, a directory called textures. Um, it'll copy all of the, the sourced um, and used textures on the meshes uh, to that directory. Now, um, I've been told that there's some export problems. Um, sometimes the OSM doesn't reference those textures properly. So once you export the copy textures, uh, you might have to export again without the copy textures on. That was just with our game. Um, it could have just been a one-off thing. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I should note that because we had a lot of trouble just figuring out what the problem was. So yeah, um, you can export animations if you've got a character the animation. I don't want to go into that much, uh, but it's fairly straightforward. If you've got animation on there, it will come up with something standard. It'll be like walk. Um, but yeah, this is just primitives and we're not doing anything with it. So yeah, uh, you can export hidden as well, uh, which is handy if you're trying to just get everything out there and you don't want to sort of get killed by the viewport. Um, and yeah, um, per object material file, I haven't really played with much, but uh, basically on, on the OSM files, um, accompanying it is a dot material file, right? Um, now the OSM references a material, um, and each material is sort of listed uh, in an editable text document um, called a dot material document and you can just edit that and, and sort of play around with it. It's, um, it's really powerful and it can be, uh, it's basically just an ogre, ogre format um, and you just look through it all and you can edit whatever you want and um, if you use the ogre, uh, ogre wiki um, and the manual you can just go through that and have a play. But yes, I'll just go cancel and um, yeah, basically that's just how you, you um, go through Ogre, um, Ogre's Ofusion, sorry. Um, and yeah, just, just have a play. Um, hopefully that has sort of taught you a little bit about um, just navigating the viewport. It's, yeah, just takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, it's really powerful and it's really, really handy. So yeah, and also like, just yeah, add more lights, copy or reference. Uh, if you reference an object, um, it will only be made once and it'll copy itself, if you kind of get me. It'll be on the system physically once and it'll copy itself on the uh, graphics card. That's what I've been told, or well, that's what I've sort of deduced from it. I don't want to anger any coders, so I'll leave that. Okay, um, so last point, um, yep, you can add more lighting whenever you want. It's really cool. And um, yeah, just have a play, basically. That's it.